But anyways, L.A. Noir, uh, final vice case, and then we'll be going to arson, and I believe there's about six in arson. Manifest destiny. <laughs> that was an interesting oh, look. A shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. Oh boy. They're back. All right, and yeah, I can tell by just by looking at this, the display is off. So let me fix that real quick. If we just apply that, should be fine. Game goes only up to 60 anyway, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. And there it is. It's a lot better right there. Cool. God damn it. So, a dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. We're still on the second floor. They all stare in love and war. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Exit this way. This way. Or actually, I think the car is down here. Yeah, if we go out this exit, this car should be right there. And we'll make him drive. What is it, E? You know the way. You can drive. Yeah. I'm so used to using F as a get in vehicle uh, key all the time. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. There you go. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can what see what's left going of the on? owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, <laughs> former Marine. His head was like in McGoldrick. the side of the screen. He was a non com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who were the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree. We've met the rest of the band. Now there are no peace. Huh. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Okay. Damn. Pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. All right, straight to investigating today. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Uh, okay, there's something right here. It's just a cigarettes. It doesn't say anything about it. Interesting. There are more dead bodies? Oh, okay. There's, uh... Yep, yep, here it is. Okay, so this is B. Unmaintained custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. What's that click? Hmm. must have cost more than the trumpet <laughs> got a ticket oh look at that they're Just they're always the musician angle. yeah they're always leading back to the blue uh the blue room 
kept his stash close at hand. Right, there's both of those. Is there anything in the trumpet? Probably not, but... Yeah, nothing. All right. Anything interesting? Body right here. Check the arms. Nothing there. Uh, we can check this jacket pocket. Nothing. About the left one. Morphine source. Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Check his left arm. It's like there was a cut right there. More stuff in the back. Valor Tobacco Company. Some packs to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. Some bars. Fired. Haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're nice. BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? All right, so we found Army all the surplus clues. Morphine, Army surplus weapons, Army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was. Ma'am, I'm Detective Let's Phelps, have a chat. Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. It feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today. Already. It's like freaking out today. All right. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. Obviously, if I'd been why? Here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. He was like, uh, no idea. Doubt. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club. Then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Sure. Knowledge of McGoldrick. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Truth. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help. Nice. Eddie was in over his head. First two questions for the day. Correct. Surprising. Army <laughs> surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. You can drive. Where are we going? To the station, I guess. Yeah, we can see what was brought. Hopefully we get some uh, shorter cases today. <clears throat> The last ones uh, were pretty long for Vice. Especially the uh, the one before this. It was like a DLC one, too. About Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? <laughs> Orders have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. 
So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Hmm. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. We wanted to move in together when we're not even married. <laughs> Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside yeah, job. that's right. You know, the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship? What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompson's, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. What do we got? Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a so party. how do we connect the docks to, to the mess at the 111 club? Kelso. He's not gonna like take. <laughs> oh, or McOldrick, right here. This is the crate we recovered. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of LA. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Enough to arm three companies. Some of these guys are from my old unit. Yeah, there you go. Must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Thanks, Harry. Stay in touch on this. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my sap. They're going to have an even bigger part in this, probably. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up. Kelso and, uh... I, I want to stop him with one... I didn't even see Courtney on there. Let's see what he wants to do. I'm stumped. Ideas? Just running for it. <laughs> Can you drive to this one? Do we know where we're going? Yeah, the blue room. How well did you know the owner? A Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get huh. blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life. Getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. True. Blue Room, 6.04 p.m. Wow, the day's flying by for them already. Wonder if this is gonna be a uh, a midnight case, working after hours. Take a break, boys. <laughs> we would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the Stonefura? <laughs> I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. 
Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Army surplus People morphine. are dying of overdoses. <clears throat> if you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. I'm oh, that's a very helpful. To the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Doubt. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? Who is no walking? Oh, it's this, like, server lady. Wait, uh, Pagan? My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. Doubt. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. <laughs> he was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, <laughs> take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. And very noble. But words are just words. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. What's he want to do? Blue room, ten thirty four PM. Why didn't why wouldn't he fill uh, his partner in on this? Interview of Mickey Cohen. Oh, and tail Elsa. The world's just casually loading in the background. You can see all the palm trees in the buildings trying to load in. Uh, a little close there. What was that? Just a scratch. Bro, go, go. <laughs> Oh shit. Get drifty around the Maybe corners. I risk losing the trail. Uh, okay. It's funny how they never notice the car pulling up behind them like 20 feet.
should do and coal. Detailed too. Ah. Ah. Yeah, what's going on, bad? There, uh. Phelps has got a guilty pleasure. LAPD, we're looking for it Mayor Cohen. Like. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. Goddamn Harry thinks he can get fresh whenever he pleases. Okay. Food wasn't great, but you're real nice. <laughs> LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Same here, Mickey same Cohen. here, Good bet. afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman, too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around <laughs> beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Uh, yeah. Finkenstein drug operations. See what he looks like. All right. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Obviously doubt. <laughs> so I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. 111 Club Shooting. I believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen <laughs> from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Doubt. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. Two out of two, once again. We Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. You have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Oh boy. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. 
Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! Damn. And then the louse calls and says he's gonna marry him. Go, 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 go. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? The shooting that they were just talking about? <laughs> All units. Officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson. Go, Shots man. Fired. Any units to handle identify. Go three. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Steam. It's trying to down so download something like all day. Bus shooting 12:02 p.m. Damn. Oh, oh Alright, so that's not gonna work. That thing is so loud. There it is. Ah, one headshot. Not bad. Search the sniper's body. Oh, he wasn't much of a sniper, but. Phone number and restaurant table. Hmm. In there, like the right arm, nothing there either. Okay, it's one of the BARs. Nice. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hmm. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. <laughs> Who's the jug here? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus and the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Formed of Cool Ridge Heist. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Out. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. 
Motive for shooting. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Tell. Felix, we didn't ah, go shit. through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. Ah. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? I probably should have said that I saw people. him on the thing. We'll be in the touch. ledger. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. <laughs> Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. I swear, this town's going to Uh, okay, we need to go make a... Call something in real quick. There it is. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks. Nice. So Kelso is definitely involved. Let me do it. You Just drive. Look I need to go over the case notes. All right, where to? Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We He's brace on the him left and drag him the downtown. <laughs> there you go. Work. He's a tough customer. Alright, let's see how this goes. Kelso's apartment, 212 p.m. Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. Hmm. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Interview at Hollywood, 3.35 p.m. Oh boy, we have a lot of questions here. Ah, army surplus. You know there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine. That has nothing to do with me. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Doubt. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You'd better watch your mouth. <laughs> Ex Marine McCord. Did you know Older? that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Truth? Doubt. Doubt. Okay, it was true. Want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. <laughs> you heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Is anybody making coffee soon? No, sorry. Truth. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Wow. Good. How was he? A little pale. 
One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. SS Cool Ridge what do you robbery. Know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge Jack. What I know is that on three separate occasions you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Doubt. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just Three out of four. information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump. With this $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majowski. Another name from the manifest? Damn. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Literally, though. It's a full out, full on war. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. <laughs> you go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Oh boy. Okay, this one's taking a little bit to load. Robert Steiner, 4.17 p.m. Two of them officers, they went that way. Yeah. Go on, get after them. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Getting close. Scare him off the tar. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit it. Clear this asshole off the road. Damn. <laughs> it's no good. We need to get closer. Hit him. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Damn, we just ran the one dude over. And then the other one got a headshot. All right, who do we got here? Driscoll. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. Hmm. Oh, 
Owen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. Nice, that's some real good info, info right there. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Oh, look at that, a newspaper. <laughs> LAPD vice scandal. Go all the way to the top. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. <laughs> Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? fingering a fellow officer oh shit setting him up wow I never checked his arms. Just in case. No, not that, not that. No, 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 put it back, put it back. Okay, we're good. I'm at a loss. The post office, Cole, and be quick about it. Okay. Can you drive to this one? Where are we going? Go to the post office, like you said. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine waiting for someone to crack. Din, 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 din. Can't take any guns out of the uh Stay down. 
There it is. I saw his head barely through that glass. <laughs> Wait, he's awake. He's alive. <coughs> Tell Courtney. B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Got something in his hand. Polar Bear Ice Company. Really did. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Nothing there. All right, jacket pockets. What do we got? Center, down, left. Anything? Nothing in the jackets? Okay. I guess there's nothing in the, the pockets. Oh god. Jeez, the frame drops so much. Come on. There we go. This guy, a... Okay. I guess he's just not important. Ah, oh, come on. There's a door right there, but he can't go through it. another nothing there this guy's got something in his pockets looks like Sheldon's bringing his own fire team with him check this one nothing anything in his hands getting a little close there man <laughs> nothing there either all right Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll these are good guys I think you're wrapped up in this thing not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation Cole and go to the movie theater before we hit the meeting tonight. This is this isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Romans Chinese Theater, 7.14 p.m. Oh, snap. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Step on it, huh? Just give me a Make little closer. Make this a short one. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Put 
got him. <laughs> nice. I knew they were going to get out. He looks so weird without a hat. There's the guy. I hear he's an iron cop. There's an iron boy. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? I wonder if the one guy would have put his hands up. I feel like that was kind of almost like pointless there. Meeting place 915. Shots. Damn. How do you switch shoulders? I feel like I've been on my left shoulder for so long now. Uh controls. Keyboard and mouse. Interact. Raise fifth. Let me shoot out. Yeah, right now, especially. Change camera V, maybe. Skip. Up this bat ask for directions. I didn't know ask F was ask for directions. A is ask the community. E is call partner. A lot of stuff I didn't know. So V technically. There we go. I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the car 11 K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a Roger. Car 11 King. <laughs> I'll take that as a Roger. <laughs> That's funny. All right, hold on one second, chat. I just want to run to the bathroom really quick, so BRB.